Stand by for action. <laughs> to launch Stingray. Professor Darrett, what are we waiting for? Let's start the demonstration. All in good time, Commander. If the World Equinaut Security Patrol is going to assist in this mission, it is only right that I should acquaint you with the facts. Okay, okay, but keep it brief. Well, for some time, we have known that seawater contains, suspended in solution, minute particles of various mineral compounds. This is keeping it brief. Uh, what the professor is trying to say is that uh, with his equipment, we can get gold from seawater. Thank you, Chuck. I've been told that already, but uh, I want to see you do it. You will, Commander. You will. All right. Lower away.
is understood, is it not, Commander, that the quantity of gold we shall produce will be at first very, very small. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, not until we start work in the Kendrick Trench, 35,000 feet down, will our real task commence. All right, Chuck, switch it on. Yes, I owe you an apology, Professor. Greenville and all its facilities is at your disposal. Let's surface and we'll talk about it. Very good, Commander. All right, Zack? We naturally would like to leave for the Kendrick Trench right away, Commander. It's pretty obvious you won't be able to take many supplies, would you? There's not much space in there. We was kind of hoping that uh, you deliver every month. And once the delivery is made, they could, of course, also collect the riches that we will, by that time, have taken from the sea. You can leave at dawn. Tomorrow, Stingray will deliver your supplies in. One month's time. Stingray, I must report to Titan at once. <laughs> This sound will attract the giant Gargan whenever we want him, Your Majesty. That remains to be proved. All right, turn it off. What do you think, Teufel? If this invention worked, I am sure it would be of great value in the future. There is one certain way of finding out. Take your invention to the ocean window.
Switch the Gorgon attractor on and stay there. But your majesty, the giant Gorgon will see me. Stay there. Yes, yes, your majesty. We'll see how long the mighty Gorgon takes. Your Majesty. It won't be long now. It is approaching us. Teufel is uneasy. He senses his presence. Look! Look! Surface Agent X20 reporting. A strange craft is being taken to the Kendrick Trench. The Kendrick Trench? How dare they? It is their plan to collect riches. Riches? The riches of the Kendrick Trench belong to me, Titan. Of course, Your Majesty. I will never allow them to steal what is mine. What else, X20? Stingray will deliver supplies in one month from now. The ship carrying the bath escape is leaving at dawn. <laughs> We are actually on our way. Yeah. In a couple of days' time, we'll be taking as much gold from the sea in an hour as they get from a mine in a week. We will have already a large quantity of gold for Stingray when they bring the supplies. <laughs> I'd let you know, Troy, that in addition to your routine duties, you'll be delivering supplies to Professor Darren. Darren? Uh, isn't that the guy who's getting gold from seawater? Yeah, that's him. And I've seen him do it. When have you scheduled a trip for, Commander? One month's time, Troy, from yesterday. When the time comes, I'll arrange for the supplies to be loaded, Troy. Thanks, Atlanta. Hey, you! Uh, 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 uh. Oi, uh, put that uh, down. This is it, Chuck. Okay, Captain, lower away.
620 reported is right on time. I will order its destruction. No, you fool. With the plan I have in mind, the Turanians will not suspect foul play. That's 22,000 feet. It is wonderful how peaceful it is down here. That is my problem, Teufel. I must destroy these trespassers, but at the same time remain unsuspected. So we'll get the mighty Gargan to destroy them. I will immediately place the Gargan attractor on their craft. No, not yet. This is too good a chance to miss. We will only be able to use this trick once. So we will wait a month. Then when Stingray delivers the supplies, we will kill two fish with one stone. <laughs> Professor Darren and Chuck will be glad to see you, Troy. Yeah. One month in that bat escape would be too much for me. Now, you know the drill. Deliver the supplies and bring the available gold back. Yes, sir. P-W-O-R. <laughs> According to the last radio message, Stingray should be here in a couple of minutes. Not a moment too soon, either. Our food supplies are looking kind of silly. Okay, Phones, I'll give the commander your report when he gets back. We should be on the way home soon. Troy's delivering the supplies by Aquasprite now. Stingray! I will personally supervise its destruction from my underwater craft. Hurry! I am impatient to watch Gargan destroy Troy Tempest. It finishes out. I just saw a fish man out there, Phones. I'm certain I did. A fish man? Boy, you must have imagined it, Troy. Maybe, but we run a check all the same. Okay, you're the skipper. Well, that's it for another month. Yeah. Well, we will have at least a chance in that. Fast escape from Stingray. Fast escape to Stingray. What is it, Captain? Why have you not left? Could you give us a couple of minutes quiet? Uh, we're running a hydrophone test, and they're pretty sensitive. Yeah, give us a call when you have finished. Okay, phones, it's all yours. thing. It must have been a trick of the water, Troy. Yeah. But if he thinks I saw him, he'd lay quiet for some time. Okay, Troy. Uh, what's the plan? 
You take the aqua sprite across. Oink and Marina can go with you as though we suspect nothing. Will you do that, Marina? And what about you, Troy? I'll take a sea bug and keep watch. Better get ready to open the airlock, Professor. You've got three of us coming over to see you. Three? Yeah. What goes on? What's happening, phone? Troy thinks there's somebody outside. What is it, Marina? Have Have you heard something? I was right. There is a fish man. He was on the hull of the Bathurst case just now. Yeah, well, Marina heard. Uh, what gives? Well, he didn't appear to do anything, but we'll sit tight for a little while and see what happens. Hold it. There's something coming. It's tight. Ready for the destruction? Yes, Your Majesty. Increase the power. Hey, what's that? Sounds like it's coming from the roof. I'm going back to Stingray. Hey, something else is coming. Wow! Have you ever seen? <laughs> What is it? It's a giant gargan attacking something on the roof. It's giving off a fantastic electric current. The airlock's jammed. We can't get out. Here he comes again. Troy, can you get back to Stingray and use the Sting missiles? I could get back to Stingray, but I don't dare use the missiles. The electrical charge that thing has given off would upset the guidance systems. I don't dare risk hitting the bath escape. Then come and open the airlock. We can't hold out much longer. I guess there's only one way. <laughs>
that gives Titan the taste of his own medicine. Finished? Diachok, we have now fixed the airlock. Hey, the last attack was minutes ago. What's going on out there? <laughs> We'll try and get back to Stingray. Marina, you bring Oink when I signal. Okay? and draw off that monster fish, and we headed for home. Yeah, and here we are. Well, make sure Professor Darren and Chuck choose a quieter spot next time. I can't help feeling sorry for Titan. He's probably still there. Hey, what if Atlanta's right? You fool! Providing this ship doesn't collapse, we'll just have to wait until the sounder runs out. <laughs> Say that you'll always stay close to my. 